and see. It is a higher plan to get government control over the electric power system in this country. I grew up poor, and people on fixed incomes, and people who are poor, the poverty-stricken people are going to be hurt the worst, had better be scared to death about what Mr. Obama and his EPA are doing. You know, I got a lot of emails saying, oh, Neil, why did you feature that guy? He's just a nut. He's, he's, there's no truth to what he says. But now look at what the EPA is doing. The agency claims it has the power to bypass the courts, garnish the paycheck of any American accused of breaking its rules. For example, you want to build a pond on your property and you think it's your property and that's okay. The EPA can come in there and fine you for doing so. One Texas gentleman found out the hard way to the tune of more than $70,000 in fines. He's still fighting. But right now, he's still losing. Competitive Enterprise Institute's Chris Warner says it is out of control. So this guy, Murray, wasn't too far off, was he? Uh, no, well, remember, this is an agency that not only declares that a wetland need not be wet before they fine you $75,000 along the way, possibly breaking you along the way, even if they end up losing, but they're implementing regulations without having quit en masse that their boss vowed was designed to bankrupt, his word, an industry he didn't like. So I don't know why now, of all times, we should say that's fine if this, of all agencies, wants to further crowd out the judiciary. They already claim to be crowding out the CIA, and uh, we know the, that uh, they've got IRS envy destroying correspondence wholesale, uh, to now make it easier to do a purely internal EPA administrative process. What they've got every means, and I assure you, many, many lawyers that we're paying for, uh, to allow them to do through the standard processes. You know what's weird about this? And by the way, we did put out the obligatory call to the EPA. We have yet, yet to hear back. But what's odd, because when I think of uh, agencies that scare folks, the IRS obviously comes to mind, those big old letters with the all cap letters, uh, that could be scared the NSA. Almost anything and everything they do kind of scares you. Uh, but the EPA wouldn't immediately come to mind. And a, a year ago, if you were to tell me, oh, the EPA is something weird. I know rules and regulations, but I thought they spent an inordinate amount of time with the spotted owl or something like that. I would have had no idea that they have the power to garnish your wages or to claim you're in violation of something right up front, uh, drag you out, fine you, uh, and even if you're later proven right, you're broke. Right. It was a, a regulatory agency that was created through a reorganization plan, an executive action by the great Richard Nixon, among his other uh, stunning achievements, uh, that has become this blob that's eating the economy with armed agents, um, hordes of lawyers. And even though we can joke, and I know you were about the spotted owl, they are destroying people's lives over, for example, a spotted owl or something they'll claim is if you move dirt, you're, you're increasing the salt content in, in streams. But, Chris, they can change the bug, rules so we'll just on your, your – yeah, I'm sorry, but they can change the rules on your property. If, for example, you weren't on wetlands or there was nothing unusual about your property, and then they come to discover, oh, wait a minute, we were wrong. There is something unusual on your property. There's a particular butterfly that nests in a nearby tree or what have you. I'm being a little right. overdramatic to make the point. They can after the fact come in and that's what's scary here and then if you would their 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 warnings they can start garnishing your wages and i i find that a little scary it's one thing if the irs contacts my boss and says start garnishing cavuto's wages it's another thing when the epa says you know while you're at it we want a piece of it too they're trying to get into the business of retail fining farmers, landowners, okay? They're not just seeking to destroy the coal industry in those communities. They are after people who are using resources in a way they would not. They have, in, they have with another agency, engendered a philosophy. If they find something on your land, if you find it, you are to shoot, shovel, and shut up. That's because <laughs> of their implementation of the Endangered Species Act and so on. Uh, very perverse outcomes, many of them intentional. Remember, they are a largely self-selecting universe of people who are, this is their way of changing the earth. I have a lot of great their society. I have a lot of great sources at EPA who provide me uh, wonderful information and grist for our numerous lawsuits against them. But there are also a lot of very committed people who agree with the president when he says he wants to bankrupt industries they've decided they don't like. It's the last agency. It's like the giving the Veterans Administration power over your life and death, but much more cartoonishly grotesque in the bad judgment given the record they've demonstrated. And yet now, of all times, they think they need the ability to do this easier. They're not saying they didn't have the ability or the means. They want to make it easier to do it purely internally. This is wrong. It's intimidating, too, without checking with the courts, just automatically start taking money from you. 
and then, and then with or without settling it later. Uh, 